Buddy, welcome to CK Adventures again. So, um, I'm gonna take you on a little adventure today. Uh, I, I'm not gonna do gardening. Um, I actually went west of where I live. Um, I'm out toward Breezewood, Pennsylvania, and uh, I did some turkey hunting this morning. No success, not a big deal. But now I'm on my way home, and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna show these folks an abandoned Pennsylvania Turnpike Tunnel. Now I had attempted to make a video months ago with my middle son. However, the video unfortunately got deleted. So I'm going to show you how to get there um, to the Sidling Hill uh, entrance. Um, there's also the Rays Hill um, tunnel, but I'm going to show you how to get there and uh, we're going to walk up to it. And um, so if you're interested in going out and doing something different and you're out in western central Pennsylvania, and something you got a couple hours to stop and see this is pretty neat. So stay, stick with me. Real quick, this is Route 30. As you can see, there's the uh, the sign. If you're coming from Breezewood, um, you're going to go about five miles out from the turnpike, um, traveling east, and then you're going to make a left turn onto Route 915, which is right here. If you're coming from the east to the west on Route 30, you are going to make a right about 13 miles outside of McConnellsburg, north on Route 915. Too easy. Real simple. So let's go down Route 915. Okay, traveling down Route 915, you'll see the sign for Hopewell, 14 miles. Okay, we've traveled about a mile or so. Now we're not going all the way to Hopewell, but um, after traveling about a mile, you're going to cross over the actual Pennsylvania Turnpike. Hope you can see that. So. Continuing on, we're going to go about another three miles or so. Okay, we're coming off of Route 915. And we are turning onto Oregon Road. Oh, sorry. Oregon Road. Now, be careful because you could miss this turn pretty easy. Um, if you go too far and you come out to some fields and it says you're leaving the state forest, then you've gone too far and you got to turn around and come back. So now we're going to travel down Oregon Road. And it says you're entering Buchanan State Forest here on the right. And I'll show you where we can park. Okay, so here is the old, uh, or here is the um, Oregon Camp, the forest headquarters, state forest headquarters for this area. It's an old uh, civilian conservation corps uh, building. From the 1930s. Um, I believe you can, you can park here and then hike up this trail here if you'd like to do it from this location. I'm going to go a little further down because I want to go for a little bit of, uh, further of a walk. So again, there's the trail. It takes you up and right behind that wood line up there is where the, uh, where the uh, old turnpike is. So we're going to go down just a little further to where I want to park. All right, so hang on. Okay, so you're going to go, I don't know, maybe 200 yards past the uh, Civilian Conservation Corps area. You'll come to this old over um, underpass, overpass, underpass. <laughs> um, this is where I like to go. This is where I like to park. So it even says there, tunnel one and a half miles that way. So I'm going to park here and walk up. Now, it may say the tunnel is one and a half miles up here to the left, but I know it's not. <laughs> it's maybe a half a mile if not a third of a mile walk um, to get actually up to the tunnel. So as you come up, it's a pretty easy walk. Now this is this is the part of the, the turnpike that's been abandoned. It's approximately a 13 mile stretch. I believe there was a movie called The Road that came out a few years ago. They actually used part of the section to film it. So just come up, make a left, and walk about a half to a third of a mile and it'll bring you up to the turnpike. Or excuse me, up to the uh, the tunnel. So hang on. Okay guys, welcome back. So I've walked about half a mile, third of a mile. When you come up to the road, remember, go out and make a left. So go uphill, don't go right. Uh, and you will come up and you will see the tunnel. This is the old Sidling Hill Tunnel. And um, when I get up a little closer, I'll keep talking. Be back in a second. Okay, so as you come up to the tunnel, you'll see to the left, looks like there's an access road. I believe this is the trail, um, the end point for uh, the trail that starts at the Civilian Conservation Corps Trail. So it's just a, you walk through the woods, 
with this trail so you don't get to see much of the old abandoned turnpike. I personally like to walk on the old abandoned turnpike, like as you can see. I scroll back here, here a little bit. It's kind of neat. You know, it's amazing that they still have that this much of the turnpike is still here after uh, since 1968 when they closed this section down. Um, so basically what happened was uh, the Pennsylvania Turnpike Commission realized that um, there was too much congestion between this hill or this Siling Hill Tunnel and the Rays Tunnel, which is the other one on this uh, stretch, and uh, they shut them down. And then over the years, you know, there was, it was just closed and they didn't leave it open, but uh, there's vandalism and such to this area. Um, so now it's open for uh, bicycling and hiking and just little adventures. So I recommend anybody who's out this way, you know, take an hour and walk back, take a look. It's kind of neat. Um, I'll get, get up here a little closer. So I was here about a year and a half ago with my oldest son and my cousin, and we actually hiked the length of the tunnel. It's about a mile, maybe three quarters of a mile long. Um, I'm not going to do it today. I don't have the time, but this is just a quick video to show you guys something to some different than my gardening videos or my bee videos. I actually go out and do stuff, believe it or not. Um, if you come here, uh, there are some abandoned rooms up top in this side and on the other side where the old fanning system was to keep the exhaust through. Um, I discourage you from going in there. Uh, it is it is dangerous. Um, and there are, uh, yeah, it says, interior areas, upper portions of the tunnels are off limits to public. Please do not try to enter. So, yeah, so don't, don't go exploring that. But look, there's a, if you're interested in some contact information, biking paths, and trails, you know, take a look. Um, it's here for you. It's kind of neat. Like I said, it's something different. You can hear it echoing. Um, something spooky, but yet something alluring to this place. Uh, last time I was here, there were some bikers that went by, which was pretty cool. Um, but hey, there it is. Pennsylvania Turnpike Tunnel. Like I said, it's been abandoned since 1968. You know, nature finds a way and breaking things down, but these building, these, uh, this, this structure is uh, still sound, you know, it's still safe. So come out and take a look. I showed you how to get here. Come enjoy uh, Western Pennsylvania. And hey, if you like my videos, please like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.